Hey, welcome back everyone. So I've been working on this model for quite some time and I wanted to finally pull it together in video form and provide the resource to everyone who might be interested in the idea of running like a station rotation model, but running it virtually in an online or blended environment. So I've mocked up a template that I think could be really helpful for this process. And one thing I obviously recognize are the challenges here. Like I think about when I used to run stations in my classroom and have a station of a few photographs and maybe a primary source excerpt and there was a, a video or listening station and then I was in a station as well and kids could move around the room and it was a really nice energy. And that's obviously really challenging to create. So what I've tried to do with this model is take the idea of like virtual stations and letting kids not move physically because that's obviously a huge barrier but allowing them to move digitally in spaces. So I'm going to go through just the layout and kind of the mock-up here and then show some additional features as well and then talk about how we might be able to structure it whether you're using Zoom or Google Meet if you'd want to use breakout rooms maybe no breakout rooms and there's a lot of different ways to approach this so let's kind of get into the model. So as you can see here I've tried to design it where it can fit into a number of different kind of class period or duration schedules. So whether you want, you know, like a 60 minute class or it's a little bit longer, or a little bit shorter, you can tweak all the time frames here or maybe even pull a station out or pull this break out if you don't want or don't have the time to devote to that. So what I would do with this model here, this template, is make a copy of it and then decide what are the three little groups or cohorts that I want to have inside of my class with the whole intention of within any either online or blended class period, devote a third of the time to one group of students to try to create um, time for dialogue or feedback or discussion or connections with a smaller group, maybe to increase participation or even just comfort level in this digital environment. So make a copy of the template, decide how you're gonna break up your students. Now what I've done ahead of time is there's a link to you know, the station teacher one, which is slide two, Station two, which is slide three, station three, which is slide four. And then at the end, there's a link to like the final check-in, assessment, reflection, formative activity, which is on slide five. So once we drop the student names in and we kind of explain in that whole group call what the process will be like, if students are in group one, what I would do once you have this design with the students' names in there is use something like Google Classroom or Schoology and just have every student make their own copy of this space because you want them to have their space to take their notes and put their ideas and complete their work within this station environment. That would be my approach. Now what you could also do if you want collaborative groups is you might use something like Google Classroom, make three copies of this template and assign copy one to group one and make all of those students editors. Assign copy two to group two, assign copy three to group three. So then you would have only three copies of this file and each group would be collaboratively working on their space. And that would work really well if you put kids into breakout rooms or you had a group in front of you and maybe two groups online. So there's a number of different ways to kind of uh, use this model in a way that's gonna fit for you. So let's go to the teacher station. It's linked right to slide two. Here, I would provide an overview and a purpose, maybe explain what you're gonna discuss or talk about or what skill you're going to work on. And then notice here, I'm just providing space if you have that kind of individual copy approach to let students archive their thinking, put evidence of the discussion, put their work here, their independent workspace. Let's go back to the main model. And now we have station two. So let's jump to station two. So station two, this is when you're not with this group, whether you have them in breakout rooms or you have them in individual breakout rooms, there's just so many ways to kind of take advantage of this model. What I'm suggesting here is obviously you put the name of what they're gonna work on, the time duration. And what I like to do is have an additional teacher video. So using something like record to slides to add a video of yourself, and here's record to slides with a nice update where you can move the recording box around now. Use something like record to slides to record yourself. Welcome to station two. What you're gonna work on in station two, and I go on and explain and talk about the resources down below and the workspace over here. So what I'm really able to do is duplicate myself, put myself in this experience in multiple locations, even though I'm only with group one or group two or group three, and there are a lot of time slots. So I'll stop that recording. 
let that do its thing. It's uploading and processing, coming down to Google Drive. And I would leave that there so I can explain to the students at the kickoff of this virtual station activity, hey, each station you go to, there is a little video intro, a welcome, an explanation, building some context or setting the stage for them. Now, this doesn't mean you couldn't use additional videos, a screen recording. But notice down here, we have directions, resources, links, material, what the challenge or the task is that you might also explain in video form. And then this is their space to work. Similarly with station three, we have this space for students to work. You can use record to slides, put your links and materials, student workspace. Now in terms of communicating like the rotation schedule, you might go so far as to put the time frame in which students will work, not just 10 to 15 minutes, but 9.30 to 9.40, for example. If you have breakout rooms in Zoom, you might send a broadcast message and say, hey, it's time to transition to your next station. What you can also do, obviously, is pop in to a breakout room, like notice here, you would start with station one or group one, and then you're switching over to group three, you might jump into group three's breakout room and say, hey, we're here, it's time to kind of transition. You might even jump into group twos and remind them to transition to the next virtual space. So that's the whole idea and the kind of build and design here. Now, obviously, I also have this set up to be a one day experience. You can absolutely tweak this table a bit, take the model and modify it to make it last over two days, for example, if you wanted to, if you have kind of a different number of stations or a different duration, for example. Now, the last thing we have here is also a link to like a final check in. So if you're a fan of Flipgrid or Synth or Google Forms, or even I have a link to a mock-up here of like a Jamboard reflection, I think it could be really helpful to have one space where you're asking students to pull together their thinking from those three experiences and then have all of those answers kind of distill into one location like a Google Sheet or a Flipgrid um, topic question or a Synth audio file or opening up a Jamboard for each student and see on how they're kind of reflecting on their experience for the day. So that's it. That's the idea behind virtual stations and this kind of virtual rotation model. I hope this model is gonna be helpful, whether you tweak this or use it as is or modified in some capacity, that would be fantastic. So I'll put the link to this in the description below. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions at Greg Coolwick on Twitter and Instagram. And like I said, I hope this model is helpful and it brings a nice approach to what you're doing in your online or your blended class. So good luck and I'll see you in the next video.